Dearly beloved, loving greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Doesn't this bridge seem very beautiful? This is the Golden Gate Bridge which is in San Francisco. Golden Gate Bridge. It is very beautiful and grand. Many times the fog covers the bridge but today it is clearly visible. They have constructed a grand and huge bridge over here. This is one of the world famous bridges. Many people come to see this and I am very happy to be speaking to you while standing in front of it. Do you see how much wisdom the Lord has given man? They completed building this in 1937 itself. The Lord gives so much wisdom to man and makes them do things. The Lord will also give you wisdom and bless you. Let all that be aside, there are so many problems, struggles and disturbances. What to do about them? Are you thinking like this? It is good to be afflicted. It is good for you to grieve. Are you thinking? What are you saying, brother? In the scriptures, 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 4 says, Jesus comforts us in all our tribulation. What do you need if you are afflicted? You need comfort. And who can give that comfort? You're looking for it in the wrong places. There is no one to comfort me. My wife doesn't understand. My husband doesn't care. My children don't care at all. Even my parents aren't loving toward me. You are thinking what to do. Jesus is there to comfort you always. Only when you are afflicted, you can feel his comfort. In the early days when I was afflicted, I sat alone crying. But the Lord met me and asked, Why are you crying? Why are you shedding tears? Am I not there for you? When he comforted like so, I began to praise God for my sorrows. Whenever these sorrows, tribulations and difficulties come, in all those times, I can see Jesus come near me and comfort me. So I praise the Lord for all the tribulations that I face. That is what Paul says, Jesus comforts us in all our tribulation. When the Lord Jesus is your comfort, why should you fear? As tribulation increases, the scripture says that comfort will increase. Do you know how blessed you are? You are comforted by Jesus Christ himself. He is comforting you now through this verse, saying, My daughter, my son, why are you crying and why are you discouraged? I am there for you always. I will be your mother, your father, and your friend. Am I not everything to you? Why then are you troubled? He is comforting you like so. He isn't a God who merely comforts you by words. He will perform miracles to transform your sorrow and comfort you. He will perform a miracle to heal your wounds. The Lord will do it today. Your wounds will turn out to be blessings. That is why he offered his body to be wounded on the cross of Calvary. No one was there to comfort him. When he hung alone on the cross with pain and difficulty, was there anyone to comfort him? Why did he go through that suffering? He went through suffering to comfort you and me and make us happy. Today, he is looking at you and saying, My son, my daughter, don't be discouraged. Don't cry. I am there for you. Look unto him and say, Dear Lord, I praise you for being my comfort. I thank you for your comfort. You are performing a miracle to comfort me. I believe it, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen, Amen.